Hello guys, so purely based on how it works, the Goblin Camp is going to be possibly one of the longer videos of this series because I plan to do everything the Goblin Camp offers. So what that means is discover the Goblin Camp section of the map, of course, do all the quests in the Goblin Camp, do all the side stuff in the Goblin Camp. Pretty much there's just a lot of stuff that happens with the Goblin Camp. And I plan to do all of it. Which means this is going to be quite the adventure. We're out of short rest, so I'm probably going to have to take a long rest at some point during this. But yeah, the Goblin Camp is going to be a lot of stuff happening. Because the Goblin Camp itself is such a large portion of the, of the first area of the map. Like, it's massive. How long does Disguise Self last? It doesn't really say. It just says it's a ritual. I'm going to use my flute to turn myself into a masculine, strong-looking drow. That looks the exact same. Oh, did it change my hair color? That's kind of, I like that. That's cool. That changes your hair color to be more natural for the race. So, yeah, I'm just going to disguise myself as a strong drow. For a bit, because... This is the drow people. Like, this is where the drow was. Oh! I might not need to actually. I saw those here. Okay. Well, look who's getting dragged back. And by such high company. How badly did you mess up? Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the Vaders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's other trow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them Lugas is holding up. Let me through. Go on. I ain't gonna hold up a drow. Come on. Gotta let the drow through soul know where them lugas is. <laughs> we'll be heroes. Yeah, I might have to kill Saza or something of the sort because I am not letting them attack the grove. If I let a grove attack happen, I'm absolute I'm like the biggest fucking villain ever. the overwhelming authority that you've used on others than the infinitely stronger I also changed my hairstyle leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape nothingness in every direction then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command a handsome younger man with a quick easy smile and a pale young with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. And you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. That 
thing shielding us. Incredible. That voice, those visions. What just happened? No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. Oh, nighttime event? Camp event available. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna go on a little bit more. Did I never put his mage armor on? Bro, how the f... Did I not put his mage armor on? Let's get his imp out. Because we have a lot to do here. So I want to have every advantage I can. Captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filpenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you galant. <laughs> I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge, the way this one's carrying on. Bravo! Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Oh, certainly not! What are you doing? I'm busy here! You lying! To you? Never! Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> uh, draw Ragslin! Uh, draw Ragslin! Um, uh, um, uh, I am a draw ragslin, um, um, tumptuous, uh, draw ragslin, I, um. You broke him! Wait, wait, draw ragslin, we play, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Come on! Of course. Well now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This, this is chicken chase. That's no chicken, that's an owlbear. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us, seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Could be fun. What is chicken chasing exactly? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just got to chase the chicken round the course and through the post. Oh. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been breasted by the bird. Seems easy enough. <laughs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? 100%. Sure, I'll place a bet. Let's make a real wager. 300. Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coy. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? Let's go, boys.
hurt me. Run. Where? Goblins are responsible for your pain. Kill them. Oh, no, I am not having. Hey, move it, Bill. Move it, you fucking slope. Oh my god. Put me in turn based mode. Holy crap. Works even better in a chicken. Reckon we won't eat it after all. And over my winnings. Pardon, your what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You mistook. Oh wait, I have the drow on right now. Heck yeah, goblins know a know to keep a civil tongue in the underdark. Granted, most of them are slaves. The underdark. Aye, aye, brother. I've had litter mates disappear down there. <laughs> Here, your coin. Or only a joke. <laughs> Rules. A joke is all. No offense, men. She just give me six hundred coin, or? Doesn't really say how much she gave me. I'm gonna assume she gave me 600. As that's my winnings, but... Who knows. Oh yeah, I should probably reattach myself to the team, huh? Turn invisible shovel. Oi! Ain't no party in here. Shay Graw. Olak cleared us. Got a visit for the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul? What with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than. No, you don't. Come on, then. Oh, come on now. You're just having a bit of fun. Let's get my brand on. Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. A priestess. One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet, or he'll lose his good eye. Tell me about the Mark Priestess. For the fire, are ya? Why should I let you brand me? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with ya. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Charged with magic? Perhaps that explains the ease with which these goblins submit to true souls. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Sure, do it. Sounds useful. 
Everyone will think I'm part of the Absolute's cult. your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Any help would be appreciated. I need a healer. You've come to the right place. With the absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! We want the mark! Yeah! Ain't we good enough for the absolute? I'm interested to see what happens if I actually go through this. I've not really befriended her before. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Ready to clear your head. What exactly are you going to do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry. She loves you. I can tell. All right, I'm ready. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Okay. Ready to clear your head? Yes, I'm ready. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody Wait a second. else needs to leave. Wait a second. I, did I just find an... Inf infinite uh, car like approval. I have to see if this works. Ready to clear your head. Don't wanna... Is there a way I can check if that actually is like just gonna be infinite? One second. Ready to clear your head. Don't wanna crowd. To... Oh wait, it's not happening anymore, Ready is it? Ready to clear your head. Whatever the absolute. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Okay. Soldier? I'll keep those guys in there just in case. And I'm going to keep them right outside the door, of course. Excellent progress. Ready to clear your head? Yes. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute, and I'll do the rest. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Hmm. It's all slippery in there. What are you hiding? An image of the Mind Flayer reaches out to her from her memories. Help! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Pretty sure why those parasites are squirming in your head too. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah?
and get it out of me. Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. It might get a bit messy, though. I'm ready. You won't regret this. Be I probably will. Soul. You know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. That'll put me to sleep. Are you trying to trick me? I ain't deceiving nobody. I'm trying to help. Why is it an elf action to drink the potion? Okay, drink the potion. Fuck it. I don't know why that's an elf action, though. How bad could it possibly go if I fall asleep? This could have gone easy for you. Not now, though. I'll tear you to shreds. What? Okay. I don't know what I did to piss her off, actually. Another fight. Let's go. Okay, wait, I don't know what I did to piss her off, though. Why did her potion not work? Okay. First things first, I'm gonna break my disguise. I'm tired of looking like a drow. I don't need to be a drow any longer. Stop it, cat. I think I just heard my food get to the one minute mark. Hey, stop it, Kit. Don't growl. Get off me, Kit. Only those that have faith are welcome here. Clear off before I cut ya. Oh, now she's angry that I'm no longer disguised as a drow. Okay. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, yep, that's my food. I'll be back in just a sec. And that's the perk of being right next to the kitchen. Takes me 
almost no time at all to grab food. Okay. Let me close the door and do what I must to her. So, I don't like her. She is a mean person. Oh, I could go for a good meal. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do this. Stealth I'm going to hide. Activated. And I'm going to fucking destroy her. Your violence hasn't gone up. Oh, perfect initiative two on her. Oh, okay. Oh, it's me. Okay. What's this? The slobber chops druid was nothing. One second. Just. The slobber chop is a druid who has who is nosing around ain't just some tomb raiding adventure type. Calls himself Hawson, ugly name for an ugly bastard. I had a little word or two with him before the lashers put it put his hairy arse in the pens. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us. Inside me. Reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. Never did, and especially not now. The Absolute's taken shine to us. I say there will be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens, and when we cut him open, I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. Damn. She's got, like, huge grudge against Halson, bro. Dang. Okay, and that's one of the three leaders dead. Okay, guys, all of you get out of the room real quick. Come on, get them out. Okay, and let's close that door. Nobody needs to know what's in there. Nobody needs to know what, ha what happened. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh, she has a lot of stuff. Uh, you gain plus one bonus to initiative rolls. Kind of not that useful. Oh, it gives you Firebolt, I guess. But my guy already has Firebolt, so it doesn't really need it. Um, weapon enhancement. On a hit, the target must succeed a DC 13 constitution saving throw or become a ruptured. Hmm. Weapon enhancement, weapon enhancement, weapon enhancement, weapon enhancement, weapon enhancement. This weapon deals an additional 1d4 damage against monstrosity type foes. Jump distance is increased by 5 feet. Okay, the jump distance is actually kind of good. But then again, it's also only 1 to 10. Almost slashing damage. One slow slashing. Dexterity throws, stealth checks, one less slashing, plus one bonus to strength, saving throws and checks, one less slashing damage. Okay, so the only things I really want is this. 
in this. And I could do with this, but I don't think I need it. Pleasure. Let's go. The pouch is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. What is this? An inscription on the leather reads, Do not open unless I have instructed you to do so. In case of doubt, await instructions near my body. Gale, Wizard of Waterdeep. Now let's put the pouch away, because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to use that when Gale actually dies. And because I brought him back, I don't think I'm supposed to use it. Okay, here's the part where we're probably going to have to kill Saza. my prey and massacred the rest ah oh. well the thing about that is they sort of massacred us but this mug helped me to escape i say we stick a few holes in him show how grateful we are you feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you oh dear your prisoner is one of the absolute's favorites saza a true soul Nah, a comfy. They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare. Past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm up, up, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. She's telling the truth she didn't know. I told you. I was trying to follow orders best I could. Silence, wretch. And remember, you owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear to it. Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play. In this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Hmm. I think we all know what I'm going to say. 
misunderstand. I'm here to slaughter you. You would dare. Gods to me. Oh, I got a reward for that? Okay, so first things first, get rid of the fucking eye. That eye is really dangerous as it could call the entire fucking camp in here. Gale needs to get rid of the war drum. Okay, I don't want to kill Mazora. Or, sorry. Minthara. I don't want to kill Minthara. I want to keep her alive. Actually, no, I don't need to turn on non-lethal yet. No shovel! I can. I didn't really think about the fact that there was a pit there, I'll be honest. My bad on that one. Perfect. Good job, Gail. That's literally all you needed to do. And I'll turn on non lethal attacks once, um. Once, uh, the goblins are all dead. I want to kill Saza, and I, I want to keep Saza, and I want to keep Minthara alive.
Okay, now that we're down to just Minthar, let's turn on non-lethal attacks. And be careful with what we do, because if I fuck this up and kill Minthara or Saza, I'm going to be pissed. It's a 30% chance. Who can... No, I didn't. Not what I did. Doesn't matter, I guess, because now we can just do the normal without the disadvantage. Perfect. On my way. Rough tempest I will raise. I did everything correct. This shouldn't kill her. Dang, she got a lot. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum for one turn. Eh. Gain plus one to stealth checks. Eh. Xandre's Fire. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in Fairy's Fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. Let me just take everything. Uh, the gloves. Are they good? Nah, they're just shroud leather gloves. They just look cool, I guess. Bro, those clothes do not look very, um, at ease, but okay. So as I had nothing, dang. No, oh, I kept her alive. Swift as my feet can carry me. So as I did well to lead me here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can just make her not die in this run. Like, just never die. So yeah, we killed two of the three fucking leaders of the camp already. Like, we're doing good. Well, killed in quotes for Minthara, I guess, but... Hopefully Halston won't be mad that we didn't kill her. Because I kind of want to recruit her later, which I believe is an option, but I could be wrong. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Your tastes must turn to the exotic if you would stop here by choice. Ah, shoot. I messed up. I was invited to discuss pain and its intricacies. I oh. find these goblins crude and, well, primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Thought a follower of Lovi Loviatar would approve of pain. You know the maiden of pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. 
Let's go. I am curious. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. But wait, you are hurt. Please tend to your wounds before we begin your penance. I prefer a fresh canvas. Okay, I guess I'll have to do that after I do a long rest, as I'm planning to do very soon. I was going to do that... I was gonna like free the prisoners and then I was gonna do a long rest, but No, walk in there, don't close the door. Don't go bothering my pigeon, he's mine. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? I hate to see such a lovely creature in a cage. Hey, he don't mind. Keeps him safe from me, mate. <laughs> Raids make him rabid. Then catch one on your own. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You won't last long in there. Yeah, I think a plus a D4 is just gonna like guarantee I go over for 10. Yeah, I don't need advantage on that one. Advantage would only help if I got like a nat one. Take him for a jog, why don't ya? And don't let the lad snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeons all yours. Volo. Oh, look at this. I'm quite safe. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Remember my name when you're crediting the story's author. It's a kills. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Go to my camp. We'll talk there. Once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share a flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! And he's invisible. I think there's like two more things I can do. No, three more things I can do before I take the long rest. Come on. Scream. Scream our back. Come to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. He wants the prisoner intact. I use advantage because it's a D tool. Yeah, there we go. Critical success. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, let's update that to now 12 critical successes. What does he think we'll do? Kill him? Nah, whatever. I was getting thirsty anyway. Weird priest next door. 
Sounded like he was beating something up. <laughs> yeah, beating it good. What he... Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Have you seen a druid called Halson? Halson? I... I don't know. He changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. They'll kill everyone. Please, I need to warn them. We, you came looking for the night song, didn't you? Y yes. It should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived. What else do you know about this temple? Any other treasure? Uh, I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the Night Song. Brian had instructions, but... The, the goblins got him. They... They said they need him. I... I have to go. I have to get out of here. What does the nice song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Okay. Two things left to do and then long rest. Still keep me Sylvanus' blessing. Oh, by the way. Necklace. That gives guidance. Put it on Will, I guess. Just don't have it on me, because not being able to stack um, friends with guidance is kind of annoying. If I put it on Will instead, then I can stack friends and guidance all I want. And I don't think I have any necklace that would really benefit Will yet. My cat's looking at me. Judgingly, even though I already gave her her wet food for the morning, like. Looks like she's expecting more of me. Then slowly blinking her eyes. Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. We couldn't pick this humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Elves. Think you rule the world. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A lot of assumptions here. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I don't think so. It's a fact. You're nothing but dirt beneath my feet. Well, not us. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss more foot. Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your pretty face. I feel I should warn you that the average goblin foot is host to some two dozen toe curling diseases.
How about you kiss my feet instead? See, now I can stack both of those. That's why I switched to his holding it. Three to thirteen. Hmm. Ugh, blue knight. Just piss off. You're not welcome here. You better kiss my foot now. He's the one who started it. Ah, stream disconnected. That's not good. Reconnected? It says reconnecting. One second, guys. It's not good. It's not reconnecting. I'm going to finish up this conversation and I'm going to pause the recording until I can figure out the stream stuff. The goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. There. I've done it. Arrogant swine. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording here. Yeah, so I'm gonna pause the stream. Oh, stream's back up. Never mind, I guess I don't need to take a pause. Nice. Okay. So. I've done almost everything there is to do. There's two things I want to do, though. Two things. Can't risk being in open view. And Thara's underwear. Wait, what? That's something I looted? <laughs> Didn't realize I looted her underwear, but okay. Interrupted. Oh. Okay, so. Yeah, <sighs> come on, get me to a spot where no one's looking. Can't risk being in open view. If no one else minds their business, I'll be fine. That's a friendly looking shadow. This calls for careful footwork. Softer than a whisper. If not over, then through. Don't want to draw any attention. I don't need any attention right now. Perfect. Now I'm sneaking. What's the toast to? Do 
I'm glad you asked, Tough. I want to gather round. <laughs> to drink until we die. Yeah. Finding those looters and crushing them. Go on, drink up. I'll do the bar thing. Show off an elaborate bartending trick. Another critical success. Let's go. Critical success on the bard stuff. Update that. Okay. Bravo. Now get out of our way. I need another drink. As the symbol glows, power no, I didn't. courses through you. Authority. If I had poisoned you, do you really think I'd still be here? Let's make her my friend, too. Bruh, let's go. Critical successes today. The gap between critical successes and critical fails is getting kind of big again. I don't like that. I like them to be about the same. Snack. You're right. Whoever did this could be anywhere by now. Okay, and let's do the last thing we're going to do before taking a long rest, because my guy needs a long rest badly. I was kind of hoping that that would just wipe out every outside uh, goblin, but not quite. Left a decent portion of them still. Turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell, life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. Okay. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! He's helpless. Let him go. It's saying right here. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three. More stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I'm putting an end to this now. Time for blood.
I should wait. No, if I, uh... Oh, yeah, let me turn off those passives real quick. Much better. Dang, it's, dang, I wasn't able to hit the child. Bro, that child is lucky as hell. Kill the beast. Uh, Karlak is on job. Oh! He's not going for the freeing of the, uh... Dogs. Are you fucking kidding me? How? Okay. Imp, please. Kill this child. Thank you. God, dude, that kid should not be so hard to kill. Oh my god. Out of context, that sounds really bad. Are you fucking kidding me? Carlac. Only one? Um, oh, I'm Gale, you can't do low rules like that on me. Forty-nine, forty-two. I'll take the forty-nine. Are you fucking kidding me? That's about time. Okay.
Okay. Kill the Beastmaster. Dang it. Pretty sure if the Beastmaster dies, so would the Beast. Perfect. Not what I did. I... Ah, uh, this game sometimes. I swear I clicked on the guy. It doesn't matter. It's not like I'm going to lose this encounter. Like, there's a very low chance I lose still, but, like, come on, man. Dang it. Bro, can we just, like, hit this thing? Dang, bro. Fur is just, like, not dying. He really just dodges every hit that comes his way. There we go. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Your Halson, the Master Halson of the Emerald Grove? Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. I heard you're an unmatched healer. I need your help. Indeed. Well, not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. Ah, oh, I should have refilled my water. Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The mind flares spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I escaped from a lithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. I think this artifact has something to do with it. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the mind flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. 
I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Tell me what you've learned of these tadpoles' I origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I have no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. All right, how do I help? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow in Thara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Having a shape-shifting bear druid at my side might make things easier. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Stay here. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Okay, we're going to do a long rest. And then we're going to do the loath guy. Pick back up. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. You're just exhaust. We're just exhausted. Lower your blade before you do something foolish. That's the second time it's happened.
a critical success and a critical fail at the same time because of advantage. It's going to be a lot less fun when it happens during a disadvantage. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Just another reason for me not to like Lizelle. But, but, I want to talk to Volo. What the? I want to talk to Volo. <laughs> okay. I came just in time. You are transforming. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. much time so listen closely there is great potential within you it comes from that parasite your instinct is to resist the power it gives but you must accept it nurture it I will keep it from consuming you but for the sake of both of us you must learn to wield it Fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Feel better, I promise. Well, oh, the torches of people before sleeping there, but okay, game. Yeah, because now I have more nighttime events that I can't do. Cozy set. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. And their parasites, do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? Mindfair planted one of their larvae in my brain. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. 
You? Been fixed by a mind player? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Examine me, find out yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I could just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I went rid of this thing by any means necessary. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Let's go. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, you gain four temporary hit points. Yes. Give me that. I'm wearing that 100%. There it is. Oh, but it's a bit weaker. But also, I'm not fighting undead enough for that to be worth it. Oh, God, it looks so bad. Where's my die? I hate barred clothes so much, but, like, I have to wear it because I need the up. I need the bonus it gives me. No matter how much it pains me to admit that. And if I do end up recruiting Minthara later, I'll give her back her underwear, guys. Don't worry. Yes. I'm not- I'm gonna do a partial rest. I just want to get the cutscene out of the way. Whatever it is. Where- with whoever it is. How much farther can I go? Hmm. Another one? Back to back. I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. So what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsey knew this. His instincts are right. But parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind players in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So who are you? It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. It, just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, 
I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Is there anything I can do to help you? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Hmm. Another one? Bro. Oh, wait, Vola wants to talk. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has the research turned up anything that might help with the parasite problem? Okay, I think that leads to something I want to save for later. Let me go to that guy who wants to beat me up real quick. Do his thing. Come back here, grab Halson, and finish off the camp. Anyway, I can have Karlak do it. Because I think Karlak would benefit more from the buff than I. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Levi. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I'm only passing through. Your tastes must turn to the exotic if you would stop here by choice. I was invited. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. You? Yeah. If I would let his skilled hand anywhere near me. I am curious. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall and we can begin. Oh, he was all, oh, okay. He's all for Carlac doing it. Yes, this will do nicely. Have a lot on my mind. Um, well, no, I think I, I think I locked Carlac into being the one to do this.
simply face the wall and stay absolutely still. of the people. Use block air. Oh, okay. Can't give up now. Steady your heart and do not move. Hey, good looking. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Are you fucking kidding me? Try it. Roll again. Oh, this is gonna be great. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Make him. Uh. Uh. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. That's it, dear one. Let Leviata hear you. Uh. You are doing so well. Do not give in now! I'm not wasting another Bardic Inspiration on this. Yeah. I'm doing just fine without using Bardic Inspiration. Yes, you can, child! Take the pain and offer it up to Loviata. Offer it all. Child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Thank you, I enjoyed myself. Oh, as did I, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. I don't... Well, I'm not quite sure I remember what the blessing is, but... Uh, I'm gonna read it, and I'm pretty sure it's better for Berserker than for a bard, if I remember correctly. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively... When you have 30% hit points or less, you gain plus two bonus to attack rolls and wisdom saving throws. Enjoy the beer. Don't waste a step. Oh, there's gobble. Is he gonna do? Is there gonna be a gobble that does it? Trip just to watch a random goblin do it too. Huh. 
Oh, if he killed him, that would have been hilarious. Okay, let me real quick do a partial rest to get whatever cutscenes out of the way that happen. Another sleeping cutscene, is it going to be the dream visitor again or could be something more interesting? Oh, it's Carlac. Hey soldier, you want to sleep are you? I'm buzzing, honestly. I couldn't wait to talk to you. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Know what you mean. When I look at you, it's all I can think about. Thank the gods. I was afraid I was the only one. Ten years is a long time to be trapped in the hells. Ten years without a kind word. A touch. When I look at you, I feel real again. Alive. Is my guy a female? Gods, I want to ride you till you see stars. We need to find a solution to this infernal engine problem first. Bro, I so... Okay. It can't just be me that thinks that my character looks like a female in this scene. Like, everywhere else... Nah, a character looks like a dude. But right here, he's got titties. Like, 100%. Like, undeniable. We'll need to find a solution to the infernal engine problem first. I know. What I want and what I can have are two very different things. I'm just... Mm, combustible. Ten years is a long time without anyone's touch but my own. And when I look at you, I just feel explosive. How about just one kiss? I'll turn you to charcoal. Guaranteed. Mm. I'll make it quick. One tiny kiss. Nothing more. You can try. But don't hurt those pretty lips of yours, all right? They feature heavily in my future plans. The passion is hotter than the flame. Fuck yeah. That's great. Wait, no! Are you alright? A little singed, but it was worth it. Dear, if I weren't so worried about killing you, I'd be in a puddle on the floor. So, what do we do now? Let's talk. I still know so little about you. Please. My life is an instant mood killer. Am I enjoying this mood? Maybe even a little too much. I better head back to my bunk. You might not be able to touch me, but you give me a lot to uh, think about. Was not expecting that. Hmm. I thought it was giving me like some dream visitor thing or something that I completely missed. Didn't know that was really a thing that could happen before the party. Ah, dude, is another nighttime cutscene? Brother, what the heck is going on? Did everyone's approval, like, hit the... Oh, that's why everyone's approval is now in the area where they want to met. Where they want to... So, pretty much, it seems like the other events are just going to be me rejecting Gale and Will, respectively. That's what it is. Okay. Um, let's grab Halson and actually, wait, let me check something before I grab Halson. Did 
Saza and Minthara wake up and... Saza woke up. And Minthara is nowhere to be seen. Perfect. So, we're gonna spare Saza. We're gonna try to avoid encountering Saza, I guess. To keep her alive. And we're gonna go have some fun killing the last leader. The ring leaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Come with me, I could use your help. Very well. My claws are yours. Protect an ally against the attacks and powers of aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, friends, and the undead. Okay, not really worth it. Let's do this. This is mage armor, right? Yeah. Okay, okay he's got mage armor on. Will put your extra hit points on. Imp turn invisible. Shovel turn invisible. I talk to animals. I put Long Strider on Carlac. I produce flame. And I have one Bardic Inspiration left, it looks like. Okay. Well, let's do this, I guess. So we're gonna, if we aggro Saza, we're going to spare her, of course. I want to keep Saza alive. I don't know why. I don't know what I could possibly gain from. Jesus. Never a dull moment. Life comes easy these days. Another day. Chances swiftly now. Are you kidding me? Brother survived with one HP. Oh, no. Oh, we need to get rid of him. The fact that he just disengaged makes me think he's about to grab his buddies. Let me just... Are you kidding me? Well, I'm not under threat anymore, so I don't have the disadvantage I had. Good. Oh. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to really quick just... Well, the issue is I'm the one who can talk to animals. Let me just say... Okay, good. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to real quick talk to the spiders and try to get them on our side. Then I'm going to bring 
everyone else in with Halson to kill them all. Because I'm... Because I know there are spiders. I have talked with animals. I think I might be able to convince the spiders to join me. All right. Time to skulk about. Yes, my desire. Closer. My sweet, I will wrap you, and bind you, and bite you, and eat you. You should do goblin instead, they're delicious. Really? I'm gonna I'm use an inspiration on that. I really just want to have these spiders join the fight on my side. It'd be fun. Oh, hey, that's a reroll worth remembering. A critical success. Let's update that. We are now at 16 critical successes, nine critical fails. Delicious. I do not know. But cruel and sharp. Yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable. Yes. Nice. I'm going to go grab my party then. Nice, let me go grab uh, everyone and Halson and get back into that fight as soon as possible. Halson, come on, boy. I've been dreaming to even given the magnitude of what we're up against. I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in oh, one shoot. piece. What was he talking about? <laughs> I thought I was talking to Halson. <laughs> Must use every means at our disposal, even unsavory ones. As existential evils go, the absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. I look goofy as shit. Okay, Halson, come on. The ringleaders have to die. Very well. Please tell me the spiders aren't dead yet. No, they killed the spiders before I could get out here with. No, the poor spider. No, they killed my beautiful spider. Where the heck is Halson at? Oh my god, Halson, you're all the way back there? Wait, who's in the fight? Just one goblin? Okay, one second. Work. Who just said that? Swords meet sorcery. On the victor's path. No time to waste. Death is but a word away. Jupiter. Time to push my luck again. No time for mercy. 
mercy. Again. Good move. No holding back. Making my move. Fuck yes. Okay. Not very good rolls on the start of this battle. Try something else. Another fight. Let's go. Who the heck is the one saying try something else? Is that the dream visitor? Or like I don't think I've ever had that before where there's just in disembodied voice telling me to do stuff. Oh, motherfucker has a heal. Time to waste. So we're going to try to start making our way back here to try to get those guys into the fight. That's my goal. At least that's what I'm personally thinking of doing. Okay. I think Karlak is the one person who can... Who's concentrate... You're concentrating on Bless? Okay, let me... Yeah, stop concentrating on Bless. We don't like you guys having Bless. And you're and you're hexing so much strength. Yeah, how about you also get out of here? Okay, cat, stop growling at me. If you're gonna be on my lap, you're not allowed to growl. How about that? No, stop it, cat. Stop. I'll just sit on my lap and then growl at no one about nothing. Like, no, I'm not dealing with that. Got it. 
at a time. What does a rupture do exactly? I feel like I messed up somewhere big here because I don't think I should be struggling this much in a goblin camp fight. Okay, we're gonna head into the room, into the back room, and let's start this war, boys. The wizard's quite worthless in a tired life. Oh, there it goes. Now they know that we're enemies. Oh yeah, that's a get rid of her. There we go. Just knock her off the table. And get away from the pit. Hey, cat, don't scratch my chair, damn it. Hey, don't scratch my chair.
Uh oh, now he has a rage, which isn't good. <sighs> yeah. This guy's a threat when he gets his rage unlocked. Um, oh wait, disarm. Carlac, dang it. Let's go! That's what I needed. Five, eh, decent. Yeah, you know, what exactly is your leadership aura gonna do down there, buddy? You know why I did that? Because guess what? Go down the pit! <laughs> Dude, this is actually way more fun than it should be. Like, I'm literally making no progress on this boss fight. I'm not- I'm making no progress on this boss fight. But by god, is it fun to just shove people down the pit one after the other. It's way more fun than it has any right to be.
maybe I shouldn't have let the spiders out. Maybe if the spiders were still down there, it would be killing them right now. Because right now, I actually don't know what I'm going to do once everyone up here is dead. Actually, wait, this doesn't... No, this does cost a spell slot. Okay. I also don't think I'm supposed to have Halston in his human form at this point. Stuff feels off right now, but whatever. I don't care. It's hilarious what I'm doing. It's gonna be annoying once everyone up here is dead and I actually have to like walk around the entire complex just to go down there to kill those guys off. does this do? Oh. Well, so much for peace. Can't slow down. That didn't kill- isn't that supposed to kill him? Time to push my luck again. Good try, my guy. Good, good try. Good try. You know, at, le at least you tried, I guess. That should be that, right? Yep. You did it. You actually did it. 
The leader's dead! <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. I've done my part. Now, tell me about Moon Eyes. Let's get out of this pit, firstly. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Let's go, boys. We did a lot. And I used that pit to my advantage, and that was way more fun than it should have been. I want to see what this dead mind flare will say. As the corpse rises, your parasite squirms in recognition. There's no doubt this creature is responsible for your parasite and it's waiting for your questions. Why did the dragon riders attack the ship? You watch through the creature's eyes as it curses the starborn slaves. They want the ones from the ship. Darkness and sun barely contained. Tell me who the absolute is. Fractured images fill your mind. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. What does the Absolute want from the goblins? You see Draw Ragslin writhe. A tadpole clings to the Mind Flayer's fingers. The Goblin King bows, obedient. The flesh of his tribe becomes the flesh of the Absolute. Why did you abduct me? Dark, empty pods flicker across your vision. They demand new flesh. How do I get rid of this parasite? You see the tadpole in the mind flayer's hand. Not a parasite. Perfection. Rebirth is sloughing flesh. A new skull housing cold, sharp intellect. The mind flayer's corpse twitches, then collapses again. It will speak no more. Hmm. Didn't get anything from that at all Oh, uh, yeah, the guy who has the key is in the bottom of the fucking uh, spider pit now, so.
I do feel kind of bad releasing the spider. They could have helped a bit more in the final. They probably would have done more work in the final fight if I had just released... If I had just left them down here. Maybe they would have even killed Chor Ragslin. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. has to offer everything it was and everything it was destined to be pure potential pure power good you have grown your power and improved your chances of survival Yeah, so I think that might actually be it, because I cleared out the goblin camp. I just haven't really, like, looted it all yet. Besides the looting, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, done here. Somehow missed this guy's body. There we go. Yeah, because besides the looting, I think this area's done. Everyone's dead. Oh, hey, and a final iron. Nice. But yeah, everyone's dead. Like, literally, they're all just... Like, I think that's just the end of it. I have a thousand camp supplies. Brother, that's insane. But yeah, I think that might be it. Might be done the uh, goblin camp. And all I really got left is to return to the uh, tieflings. To give them the good news that the goblins are gone. And that they don't have to worry about them. So they can take the trip to Baldur's Gate. Thing is, if I go back... It will be a party, and I think that would actually be a perfect wrap-up. I'd probably want to come back here to, like, loot some more later, but that could be, like, a stream-only sort of thing, because looting isn't fun. Oh, the recording running, just in case something interesting happens. But, yeah, I think I'll just go to the Emerald Grove and, uh, end off the Goblin Camp with the party. I The Druids might still be pissed at me for stealing their idol, but, like, whatever. Don't worry, I have to deal with the druids ever again once the uh, party's over. And to believe I almost had a raid party come here to murder everyone. Whoops. Saza almost fucked me over there. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. Is that proof? You might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, my. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Korga. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. We'll see you there. There is something I'd like to do before I see them there. So you see how everyone's gathered in one place? You know what this makes me think of doing? If everyone's in one place... 
Let's see how much money I can make. You've gotta be kidding me. I'm not, I'm... Might be scummy, but I am not taking a fail on that. I have to see how much gold they throw at me. I'm just gonna grab the key and grab the main loot. Actually, no, you know, I'm not even gonna loot. I'm just gonna go straight back to the Emerald Grove. I can... I'll loot the place when I come back. I'm not gonna waste your time. Go to the Emerald Gro Grove, have a nice big party tonight, and end off there. Now, I just realized, since I had that moment with, uh... Carlac, what will the nighttime scene be? Because... I already had the scene that I would normally get at the party. Hmm. Just have to find out. Yeah, let's go back to the Emerald Grove. I'll loot the goblin camp later. I'll like record me killing all the goblins probably to get in and then I'll just loot it. And then I'll just turn off the recording to grab all the treasure. But yeah, it's I've been live for nine hours. I kind of want to finish off. Devler's got to talk about how what what an amazing person I am. A scout, and I I took a collection from. It's not enough. I believe. No, but perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll. Now, since everyone's here together, let's do a song. Come on, man. Why am I failing? I'm a fucking bard. Performance checks should be easy wins for me. What's going on? Is it like the more people, the harder the check is, maybe? I don't know. I just want to succeed this check, honestly. I just want to see how much stuff I get if I succeed it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven gold pieces. Let's go. Totally worth it. Yeah, I had a feeling it wouldn't be worth it, but like it still was kind of worth it to see the whole crowd. Uh, level ups and then night and then party. Bard level five. What's this? What's this? What's this? You regain all your bardic inspiration after a long or short rest. 
Dude, I'm just fucking bardic inspirationing constantly now. Holy shit. Oh, I have to speak with dead naturally instead of having to read a book? Eh. Feign death. Visibility or detect thoughts? Hmm. Visibility or detect thoughts? That's a tough one, actually. I think I do detect thoughts. It seems a little bit more useful. Level 5 wizard. Oh, gaseous form. Wait, no, I'm going to put that on Will, actually. Yes, anime dead seems good. That's such a good one. Blink seems amazing. Is this my double Aldrich Blast? Ah, uh, gaseous form, of course. Eldritch. Yeah, having Devil Sight, I think, is probably the most useful. That way he won't be blinded and stuff. Nice, the extra attack, finally. Movement speed increased to 10 feet while not wearing heavy armor. Let's go. Oh, she learned a spell. Legacy of Avernus, Branding Smite. Plus 2d6 Radiant. Possibly marks her target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. Oh. Very situational, but possibly useful. Okay. Everyone's leveled up now. Where's Mole? No, seriously, where is Mole? We'll talk to my favorite child. <gasps> oh. I made him a grave. Oh, dude, that's really sad, actually. We did. With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. You took care of the goblins. Nice work. I'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset. But you did it. You stopped the goblins. Thank you. Oh, there's more. Check twice myself. But to be sure, we need every last copper piece to get started in Baldur's Gate. So 
somebody stole the idol. If I find out who it was, I'll recruit him. I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Baldur's Gate mind. Mattis says we should say thank you. Don't know why everyone's cheering. We're just going back on the road. I knew this would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help, too. Mattis, this is junk. Gods, it seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. Where's Arabella? I think that's like the last person I want to talk to before the party. There she is. Boulder's Gate, we're coming. One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I'm sick of running from those rats. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you're a good one. And roll. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a master work where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. Okay, let's go, boys. It's time for the party. <laughs> We're saving all the refugees. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible, and with such lovely company. With you, and just lately, I feel like I can remember what it's like to be... good. I imagine there weren't a lot of chances for do-goodery in Avernus. I tried in the beginning. <laughs> Blew up in my face spectacularly. Lesson learned. Never try to befriend a devil, cambion, or imp. Orphans are good for a drink and joke. But you can't turn your back on them. But hey, enough about that. That's history now. I want to think about the future. The one nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time is you've always got something to look forward to. Mitch, true. I'm looking forward to spending more time with you. Me too. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much. You better go enjoy the party before I do something I'll regret. I like you unburnt, after all. Bye, soldier. So that's what happens if you have your little thing before the party. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Refugees. Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd.
Not so odd, we did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Shadowheart trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you, mildly surprised you're still there. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. Are you trying to get rid of me? No, but I thought you might be keen to get away from me. We haven't always seen eye to eye, after all. Besides, I'm sure there's plenty of people who'll be keen to celebrate most thoroughly with you. In that case, I'll leave you to enjoy your evening. Have fun. And don't be a stranger. You feel bad for Shadowheart. She's just like over there, stranded pretty much. Please separate from the party. The night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they toast to saving so many lives. And now that I'm here. I hate it. This is awful. You did a good thing. Suck it up and enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself? There's a worm in my brain. I'm surrounded by idiots and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Knowing you, it probably is. Don't be so sour. I like a good time as much as anyone. You know, we could always make our own entertainment, darling. Get a little closer, so to speak. Mm, nah. No, absolutely I not. I mistook you for someone with taste. Okay, can't okay, get down. But have it your way. I'm happy to entertain myself. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. Sorry, I'm not interested in you like that. I respect your error. There are, after all, other spreads before me. I will not go long without pleasure. I really didn't think I felt that much, uh... I really didn't think I uh, felt that much affinity with Lizelle. I'm very surprised by that. Somebody stole the idol. If I find out who it was, I'll recruit him. Ah, oh, she's not gonna say her thing about stealing a bottle. Oh. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Why don't you go on, mingle a bit? Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas?
Let it be only as truthful as true poetry would permit. But of course. You achieve something far beyond mere fact. That deserves to be remembered. Aha! There you are! Come now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. And by this, you mean? Why, your naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. What about Grove Keeper? Grove Keeper? Are you a gardener? We aim to cultivate mystery, not shrubbery. No, your actions in the Grove were most heroic. But I'm afraid this is a matter of style, not sentiment. Back to the revelry with you. I'll give the matter some thought in small council. Why and have your fun? I have a myth to make. Oh, I can't even do his surgery during the party? Darn. It's a beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Hmm. So definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> I hope you aren't talking about Mistra again. Fire Geron's lost nose. No. I speak of Tara, my Tressen, assistant. My constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. What is Tara like? Remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. I wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistra's coattails. So that's what I'm doing. Bad luck on that front. I'm actually a nymph in disguise. Uh, very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a ten day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your... musk. Actually rather like it. Ew. Well, it seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. If this is an attempt at flirting, you should stop. I'm not interested. Right. Understood. There should be no more on 
the subject from me. Consider this budding romance thoroughly nipped. Though I hope our friendship need not come to such an abrupt end. Go. Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Marissa Nurse, it was no party without you. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see. And the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. Guess I'm fetching horns, I'm envious. Ouch. You don't need to mock me when I'm feeling low. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Wish you were there, but I'll respect your need for peace. Some time alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Poor Will, bruh. That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. I need to dance. No. No, I need to lie down. Patience. Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Ronan. Hush you, and behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. How about the three of you having fun? Yeah. Don't tell Roland, but his magic show might be the highlight. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. Surprised you're still here. I thought you'd be halfway to Baldur's Gate by now. As did I. But Leah and Cal were so excited for tonight, I thought it cruel to leave. Once my training with Leroican is complete, I'll put on a real show for them. Who's Gooks? Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city. With roads, and markets, and homes. Me. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. You should join them. Have a pint or two. Critical success. Uh... That'll probably be the last skill check of the night, too.
Hmm. Make the evening more tolerable. Cheers to you, soldier. And to me, if I do say so myself. Okay, I think that's everyone. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. With a profane flush of arousal, you realize she may well be doing the same. Hmm. That's what happens if you get your first romance scene before the camp, I guess. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure and the chance to hit these assholes where they live. Sounds good. Hmm. That's it, just go to this place. What were you expecting? That I'd mumble a spell or whip out a potion? I won't be held accountable just because you're naive enough to expect easy answers. Now, allow me to continue. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Sounds like I have no choice. I need to find a way through. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland. Along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there. Before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I never thought I'd say this, but it sounds like the Underdark is the safer route. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Let's go then. You want to come to Moonrise as well? Why? Unfinished business. And a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection.
Is that why you went with Aradin? You thought he might uncover this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Seromorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. What about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Who? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Sounds like the Grove will be in good hands then. We should get going. Indeed. We quite the journey ahead of us. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justice Year's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. Nice, we did it, boys. We finished the first part of Act 1. Personally, I, I would just say make this Act 1 and then make Act 2 the Underdark slash High Road, but game didn't do that. Made Act 1 just really long. But yeah, that's probably where I'm going to end it off, because I've been live for nine, almost ten hours. And I do need to actually, like, relax my brain a bit, stop talking a little bit, you know. It's been a long time, so for the YouTube guys, I'll see you next time.